2004 Olympic Games in Greece was my last Olympics as a player. To my surprise, the captains of each sport came together and selected me as the U.S. flag bearer. A completely unexpected and incredible honor. When this day arrived, the U.S. delegation gathered in this holding area and a really serious looking gentleman approached me. As he suited me up in the harness and flag, he explained I was to walk six feet in front of the delegation, alone. He finished securing the harness, took a step towards me and said, we are the USA, you keep your head up, walk prideful and never dip the flag. As I walked into the stadium, I was anxious and very aware that I was walking alone. In complete awe, I pushed my shoulders back, looked straight ahead, firmed my grip on the flagpole and walked strong. As I neared the first curve, I thought about how far I'd come from the Raymond Rosen housing projects in North Philly. I wondered if the boys I grew up playing with at 25th and Diamond knew how grateful I was to them. I wondered if they knew how much they taught me, how tough they made me, and how big they made my game. As I entered the second curve, I heard chants of USA, USA. I could feel the celebration building behind me. I looked over my left shoulder and saw my teammates. With my motion, the flag swayed a little, so I quickly studied it. Although I was flattered by the honor of being a flag bearer, part of me really wanted to be with my team. It made me remember my first gold medal in 1996 and how we had to sacrifice a year of our life to be on the national team. My mom didn't make the trip to Greece, but I knew she was watching. She could see me. I was sure she had a house full of people and cooked the spread. Whoever was there was probably invisible to my mom as I knew she was glued to the television. I knew that every step I took, she took with me. I wasn't out there alone. As I neared the end of the last straight and saw an usher signaling for me to enter the field with other countries, I took one last look around, looked behind me and thought, unbelievable, the best athletes in the world are following a girl from the projects of North Philly. A shallow smile crossed my lips as I looked up and whispered, thank you. That thank you was for all the people who walked into that stadium with me that night, but were invisible. All the people who were able to make it here today and those who weren't, but have in some way been a part of my journey.